Hey everyone, it's Trish with Bird Feed. Come tag along with me while I hit Dollar Tree to see what's new for Operation Christmas Child shoeboxes, our families, and our pantry. Fourth of July is already out. Oh, here's those foldable fans they got last year. You get three to a pack. That's a pretty headband. Mini basketball hoop. This is a nice one for $1.25. But a little bit on the wide side for a box. These light up jump ropes are pretty cool. They take um, two AAA batteries and then the whole cord lights up. A bit different one. Jet ski. They've got in their handmade Mother's Day greeting cards. These are always a great value for $1.25. And all their Mother's Day gifts. There's some great things here for gift baskets. Lavender shower fizzers that have actual lavender in them. Warming eye mask. Sleep mask. Oh, look at these. are cute. That is cute. Pumice stone nail file. Microfiber hair wrap. Matching towel scrunchie. Look at how pretty these are. The detangling shower comb. Isn't that pretty? And then I've shown you these before, the spa headbands. They also have exfoliating glove. These are pretty cool. It's a solar stair light. Oh, that's really nice. And here they have it on a fence. I couldn't get over all the really nice solar garden lanterns they had. Isn't that one cute? Oh, this one. This is really cute, too. Oh, butterfly steaks. Now, they had these paws last year. And I think these are new. They're hanging solar light bulbs. They are so pretty. And they have different shapes. They come in an assortment of colors. This cracked glass one was really pretty. It had some weight to it, too, like it was glass. The other ones are plastic. These are for the tabletop. That one just has a little bit different shape. Then, I don't recall them having these many citronella candle choices in the past. Look at those. Aren't they pretty? The frosted glass. Came in green, gold, and blue. And the little buckets. Pink, silver, and blue. And these are citronella also. And the little canning type jars. They have those 
small fire starter logs here. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. Is it Duraflame? Fire starter log. This seems to be four and a half ounce. A seed starting greenhouse has a little lid to it. That's cute. What? I have never seen this before. Expanding soil, natural and organic soil alternative. Expands 10 times, just add water. Makes three quarts. That is very interesting. Job's houseplant fertilizer spikes. Praying 50 count pencils. Oh my gosh. Look at these journals. Are these new? I've never seen these. They're huge. This is great for a boy's box. Actually, I need this. There's no way this is going to fit in this shoe box that I have in mind for it. There's three different styles. The plaid adventure is out there and the um, colorful circles. All three of those are great for boys in particular. These might be new as well. These are hardcover journals. This seems to be about six styles. Great ideas, notes. Let's do this. Do something great today. Today's big plans and make it happen. These look new too. Oh, another bird. I love journals with birds on them. Bird. It's kind of a cheetah print. Oh, that's pretty. It's like Victorian roses. And then there is a, uh, like a marbleized swirl pattern. Magnetic hooks. Oh my goodness. Now, where were these when I needed them? A couple of years ago, I ordered magnetic hooks off of Amazon. I probably paid four times as much. New Care Bears coloring book and a new Gabby's dollhouse. These stickers look new. The puppy dogs with googly eyes. We have unicorns with googly eyes. Llamas with googly eyes. They've got in some embroidery hoops in different colors and a smaller one. Iron on stickers. Huh. They're just um, plain, solid color. Interesting. Sequin swatches in different colors. Goals. They're flip sequins. Blue and that neon orange. Over. Some new magnets, but cats first. My children bark. That's cute. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Is that precious? And I don't even like cats, but that's adorable. Best friends are ones with paws. And my dog is my better half. Oh, one more. Dogs welcome people tolerated. And some other new ones. These are pretty. Count your blessings. Be joyful always. Uh, rejoice in hope. And fear not, for I am with you. Wow. Stethoscope, pediatric stethoscope. How about that? They restock these makeup vanishing towels. If you all have not tried these, 
You really need to. I use these now to remove my makeup. I don't use makeup remover anymore. You just wet the towel, wipe off your makeup, and throw it in the washer. That's all, all you need, water. These little wristlets are cute. The tie-dye and watermelon. They have a little wrist strap. And then solid black, solid pink, and a red and black buffalo. Oh, look at these. This is um, the licensed characters, Barbie, Hot Wheels, and Blippi. And they come in this little case. So we have the toothbrush and it has, you can see it on the Hot Wheels a little bit better. It's got a cap. And let's look at Blippi. So toothbrush cap and the little plastic case. I like those. We've gotten in some interesting hand soaps and these are not distributed by Greenbrier. These are the brand Delta Home. Rosemary Mint. Smells good. If you like mint, that would be great for the kitchen. Warm Vanilla smells good and so does Coastal Cedar particularly good for a man, I think. I mean, it doesn't really smell manly, but less um, feminine than the other scents. Then in the same brand, we have lavender. I didn't smell that one. The lemon smells really good. And I didn't smell the eucalyptus. We have Bodycology Nourishing Hand Soap. This one's in Pink Vanilla Wish. That smells good. And then uh, Spiced Pumpkin, which did not smell like Spiced Pumpkin to me, but it doesn't smell bad. It just doesn't smell like Spiced Pumpkin. They have restocked the bonus packs of these snack containers. They have Turquoise, Hot Pink, and Royal Blue. And new colors of Rubbermaid take alongs like a lavender, turquoise, limited edition color. They've gotten in some new tote bags. This Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger is new. We have a new Batman, a new Iron Man. This looks like a new Trolls. New Rapunzel. That's a new Mickey Minnie. Roasted red pepper and tomato. Campbell's Well, yes. These are sippable soups. Sipping soups. Sweet corn and roasted poblano. If y'all like pretzels, get your Snyder's of Hanover pretzels here at the Dollar Tree. They're cheaper than elsewhere. Oh, they got in another shipment of Act Two microwave popcorn. Okay, y'all, when you see these here, the, the Act Two has three 2.75 ounce bags in it, whereas the Pop Secret has shrunk three 1.75 ounce bags. So the Act Two is a better value and just as good and a good price for $1.25. Okay, y'all, so let's take a look at what I got. I will admit this haul is has been over the last week, two weeks maybe, or a week to 10 days, I guess, because I have been waiting for some great treasures to come in for Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes, and there just hasn't been much since my last haul. But I'll show you what I did find, and I found some, maybe not toys, but other great thing for shoe boxes, and then I found a lot.
for my home, myself, my family. I picked up one of these boats. This is in the summer toys. I thought this was cute. Um, I don't have a use for it right now in a shoebox, but in the past I have scoured around for an inexpensive little boat and never could find one. So I grabbed this just in case I need it for future. I picked up a Snow White puzzle. This is a 48 piece puzzle because I am collecting for a Snow White box um, for next year. I've started one. I found in a store this one Malibu Barbie outfit. Now I've hauled the other outfits that were mostly Ken outfits and I've seen people hauling this and some other Barbie outfits, but they're not in my stores. This I found in a store that I don't normally shop and there was only one. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if it means they got them in when all the other Barbie clothes came in and they've sold out of them. They just had one left. I don't know, but I grabbed this one, Malibu Barbie. So I was excited about that. If they'd had more, I would have bought more. I bought this Matchbox car because it was pink. It is a, an Austin Mini Cooper. I thought it was adorable. It'll go great with the Barbie cars. Again, I wish I found more of those, but I didn't. I only found one. I had to pick up this magnet, you guys. I don't know why this is in my, my toy bag. This isn't a toy, but I couldn't leave it behind. It is so stinking cute. And I'm not a cat person. I'm a dog person. I happen to have a shoebox this year themed teacup kitties. This would be perfect for it, except two exceptions. One, it's for a two to four girl, a toddler. So she has no use for a refrigerator magnet. And two, the biggest reason that it can't go in the shoebox is it's um, like ceramic. Uh, it will break because I have some of these magnets and I dropped one. One, uh, I, I knocked it off the refrigerator and it uh, it chipped it a little bit on, on the back. Not really, real noticeable, but they do, they do chip and break. I picked up a Lilo and Stitch coloring book because I'm also collecting for a stitch box and I believe this one is new because I had a bunch of them. Over in stationery, I did grab one of these journals, these big jumbo journals. Adventure is out there. I think this is great for a boy's box. I grabbed one to see if I could fit it. I have a box that this will be perfect for. Two boxes. They're duplicate boxes. So I bought one to see if I can squeeze it in there. I don't think I'm going to be able to. If I can, I'll go get another one. But I think that is, that is great. I like the other styles too. And then my big find were the Prang 50 count colored pencils. I found two boxes last week in a store. There were only two there. And then I was in a store yesterday and found more and I grabbed four more. So I have a total of six. I didn't go crazy on them because I have a lot of the 36 count that I purchased from Dollar Tree last month. And I have a lot of colored pencils from Walmart after Valentine's Day, the 10 packs that I got for nine cents each. So I'm really set on colored pencils, but you guys, this is such a great deal. It comes with metallic pencils, silver and gold, as well as all, all these colors in there. So that's a great deal. Look for these, and they're gonna go really fast. So look soon. And then if you don't see them, keep looking. I grabbed some Scotch double-sided tape because I needed some. And then, I bought 
several of these pencil pouches. Now, I don't like to spend $1.25 on a pencil pouch. A quarter is my price. 50 cents to, a, you know, a quarter to 50 cents, but a quarter is really my, my price. It's my stock up price. Um, but I will buy them when I think they're special. Now, I don't know that these are new because there weren't a lot of them. I did see them in two different stores and I haven't seen them before. I don't know if I just didn't notice them, but I don't think they're new because it, it wasn't like a new box of them out. I found Mickey Rock the House and I really liked this um, Moana and Ariel one. It says Sea Beauty on it. I have never seen this before. I've never seen the Mickey one before. This one I have seen before, the Transformers, but I started another Transformers box for next year. See, I'm, I'm buying for next year already. I mean, I don't really need anything for this year, but I'm buying for next year. This one, I don't really have a need for, but he's so stinking cute. Simba, I've not seen that one before. You guys tell me when these came out. Maybe they came out for back to school last year. I don't know. And then I bought two Disney princess ones that I thought were really cute. I have never seen this before. And I have not seen Lightyear before. And I have two Lightyear boxes. These are for this year. I have two light year boxes, so I thought those could go in there. So I bought two, four, six, eight. Wow. That's a lot of pencil pouches for $1.25 each for me. Then a bag of oddball stuff. I grabbed two of the handmade Mother's Day cards. I got one for my daughter-in-law and one for my sister. I did grab a pack of the three foldable fans. I think that's a good value for $1.25. And, you know, they're great to slip in a shoebox. I mean, they, they don't take up much space at all. There's three in here. Those are the prints, the patterns. These were in the 4th of July section, obviously. I picked up a pair of Sunflower Socks by Juncture. Again, I don't normally spend a dollar twenty-five on one pair of socks for my shoe boxes because I can get them in, you know, multi-packs on clearance and, and that's usually when I stock up. But this is for a special box. I had to get this comb. Again, don't normally spend a dollar twenty-five on a comb for shoe boxes and I don't need this for my hair. My sister could probably use it for her hair. She's in New York. So this will probably go in a, a girly shoe box at some point in time. I picked up a stethoscope, you guys. Robin from Matt Man and Robin. I think last year when she was unboxing a box, I think she mentioned that she got her stethoscope at Dollar Tree. And I had never seen them there. And I have looked and looked and looked. I look every time I go into Dollar Tree. I've looked since she showed that video, which had to have been six months ago, if not eight. And I found them in this store. Cardinal Health is the brand. It's a pediatric stethoscope for $1.25. Now, I bought one for a shoebox this year. Uh, I bought one off of Tamu, I think it was, and it wasn't too bad. I think it was like $2.50, but this is $1.25. So, anywho, found them. I grabbed a couple of magic washcloths, one Snow White for the box, Snow White box that I'm collecting for next year, and Rapunzel for a Rapunzel box that I'm collecting for next year. Then I grabbed, not for shoe boxes obviously, some soap. I, I bought this Delta Home Lemon 
kitchen scent, kitchen lemon scent, hand soap for my kitchen. I love lemon scented hand soap in my kitchen. And I bought this for a bathroom. Pink Vanilla Wish by Bodycology. So I grabbed one each of those. I think that's a good value. And then a bag of kitchen cleaner, I think, bath stuff. Well, this is from the garden section. I did grab one of these citronella incense sticks, pack of six. This is in the outdoor garden section. Because when I'm sitting out on my patio, I can stick this in my patio pot, my potted plant, and um, hopefully keep skeeters away. I grabbed some of these removable hooks. These are actually great. They work wonderfully. I've used them before. I have one in my kitchen above the kitchen sink, um, kind of out of view of people that walk into my kitchen because that's where I hang my dish rag. I use a dish rag instead of a sponge. Um, that's where I hang it to dry. And um, I also have some of these in my outdoor shed and it has withstood heat and cold for several years and they're still stuck on the wall and I have things hanging from them. I decided to try uh, these toilet bowl cleaner packs. They're like pods that you stick in your toilet bowl and it says fights hard water and mineral deposits, soils and stains up to 10 weeks of cleaning. Now, I don't think that means for each pod. There's 10 packs in here. So I'm guessing maybe one pod is supposed to last a week. And so the package is up to 10 weeks of cleaning. But um, I thought I'd try them out. Why not for $1.25? And this was a great find. Scrubbing Bubbles Foaming Bleach. Now, this is a, a refill, but I happen to have, it's not Scrubbing Bubbles, I think it's Clorox, but the uh, Bathroom Foaming Bleach Cleanser. So I'll just use this to refill that particular bottle. It's a great deal. These uh, refills go for $5, I think. 480 to 525 something like that in Target and Walmart so that was a good buy then food you guys I used to never buy food at the Dollar Tree but ever since my one store has been carrying bread I get in a shipment every week of name brand bread uh, that's that's the only place I buy my bread now. I will tell you I know because I know a lot of you all uh, Don't have stores that carry this kind of bread. They carry the Dollar Tree brand or whatever that brand is that they get in you know a generic brand I have probably a good eight Dollar Trees around me that I shop frequently This store is the only one that carries this bread. I don't know why that is so I picked up some Brownberry sourdough. They also had 12 grain and whole wheat, but the sourdough I've not seen before, so I decided to uh, try it because I like sourdough bread. And I love seeded rye. This beef, beef steak seeded rye. I grabbed one of those. Do these have prices on them? Yeah, $4.99. $4.99 for that, but I paid $1.25. And this one says $5.25. And I got one more thing of bread. Um, the Rustic Oven Hearty Grains and Seeds. So I got three loaves of bread and I'm praying they will fit in my freezer because I gotta fit in my freezer. I get these all the time. The sugar-free snack pack of Jell-O is just a nice snack. I do squirt some whipped cream on, on top, but uh, it's a five calorie snack plus whatever the whipped cream is, <laughs> but um, a lot less calories than whatever, a bowl of ice cream or a stack of cookies or whatever. I grabbed 
one of these they had Campbell's well yes now I have never actually even seen these because I shop at Aldi I don't shop in regular grocery stores but and Costco like Aldi and Costco that's where I where I shop but I looked these up on uh, Target did I look them up on they're two dollars and eight cents something like that so I grabbed one sweet corn and roasted poblano sounded good it's nice to have something like that in my pantry and I grabbed a can of Progresso tomato rotini and I grabbed this chicken of the sea imitation crab meat so I thought I could make a crab salad out of that why not I went hunting for more of the goalie gummies that I hauled my last Dollar Tree haul. Um, this is what they were, goalie super greens gummies. These are really tasty. I'm almost out of those, but they didn't have any left. I looked in several stores, but I did find the goalie bites. So I grabbed the energy bites that are salted caramel, and chocolate so I grabbed one of those I grabbed a small box of Cheez-Its four and a half ounces for a dollar 25 I think it's pretty good and I like to have these in my pantry for when the grandkids come over they like Cheez-Its and goldfish and I am hooked on jasmine rice that's the rice that I eat now when I eat rice and they happen to have a bag so I grabbed some I don't know about this particular brand but you know rice is a grain it grows I mean how how bad can it be this is Omega rice so I grabbed that now for the bargain stuff I found more one penny erasers I don't know why I keep finding them because I have cleaned out every single store in my area, eight and some, some closer to where my son and uh, daughter-in-law live, but I keep finding them. So I don't know, they're, maybe they're cleaning up the store and finding them in odd places and they put them out or maybe they're in the back, I don't really know. And my friend Val from V. Swain's Shoebox Sundays had given me a heads up that these are a quarter. The 3D sticker story, which is a, gr a great price. Now, I will tell you, as, as Val told me, the 3D doesn't work very well on it. I don't know if it's the 3D glasses that don't work or if it's the 3D that they've set up in the sticker that doesn't work. It just kind of makes them blurry, if, if you ask me. But that said, the sticker and the little um, reusable storyboard is definitely worth more than a quarter. So I picked up Disney Princesses, Transformers, and uh, Jurassic World. They also had uh, trolls. They had trolls, but I didn't get any of those. So those were eat all a quarter, and I picked up some more of these magazines. I wanted some more Disney Princess ones because I think these are fantastic to put in any age shoebox, but it's really great for 5 to 9 and 10 to 14 girls. And then I picked up a couple more Spider-Man. One Spidey and his amazing friends and one Spider-Man. Those are also a quarter and they are everywhere. Most stores have them either up at the register or occasionally you'll find them in with the coloring books and books. I've even seen them on an end cap. You just really have to look everywhere because you know how Dollar Tree is. They're all different. They all get in different merchandise. They get it in at different times. They merchandise it in different locations. So you gotta, gotta look everywhere. 
So that's my haul, y'all. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye now.